Hello and welcome to pmslounge.com. In this video, we are discussing product management considerations. Two questions that you should ask right away. Question number one, what are these considerations and why should we consider product management when we are supposed to be studying project management, right? Mm -hmm. And question number two, what is this BlackBerry phone doing on your screen right now? We will talk about an example of phones and that is why I put a phone on your screen right now. And we will, of course, be talking about product management considerations. In fact, let's get started and understand why is this important. So I hope by now you're already aware of what a portfolio program and project is. Portfolio is made up of programs and a program is made up of projects and even sub programs, right? So if you're not aware of what these three are, I'll share a link in the description below the second link, which will take you to a video where we talk about portfolio program and projects. By the way, it is a second link because the first link is the relevant article on this topic over at our official website pmclounge.com. So if you want to read about product management considerations, check out the first link. If you want to know what a portfolio program and project is, check out the second link. By the way, this topic product management considerations is part of the standard for project management, which is a sub book within the Pimbox 7. And we have done several videos on the standard for project management. Check out the third link in the description. It is the playlist of all the videos that we have done so far. So what I was saying is portfolio program project. These are the topics that you're already aware of. But the discipline of product management is actually becoming increasingly interlinked with these three. And this is more true for projects that actually deliver products. Now you already know that a project can deliver a product. It can deliver a component of a product. It can deliver some sort of improvements. It can deliver services, right? But projects that deliver products or a component of a product, on these projects, you will find that the disciplines of portfolio program project and product management are becoming increasingly interlinked. And this is where I will take an example of the phone which you saw in the previous slide. Now, as a project manager, and when I say as a project manager, this is specifically a project manager who works on projects that delivers products or component of a product. Now, as a project manager, it is thus critical to have an understanding of product management because end of the day you are delivering products to be able to gain the context of the project that you are working on. What is a product? A product is an artifact. It is produced. It is quantifiable and it can be either an end item itself or it can be a component item of a larger product, right? So. Here's an example. You have a phone here and these are folding phones. This is known as the Samsung Fold. This is known as the Samsung Flip. So as you can see, these are products. And when you think about these products, you would essentially think about the Samsung company as a whole, which has a line of products. Now, what you should understand is when Samsung is coming up with a product like these, it is not a single project. It is actually an ongoing program. A single project could have been to design a phone that can fold because that project had a start date and an end date. And when the design was done, that project ended. But when it comes to manufacturing phones, right manufacturing these folding phones and when it comes to be able to do improvements on these phones right that is not a project we are talking about something here which is a program because this doesn't have a start date and an end date you cannot have an end date on when you stop improving your folding phones even you stop improving these software experience when you stop improving uh, how to get better hinges here, right? Or how to get uh, rid of the crease that you get 
here right when you are folding the phone so these are ongoing activities this is actually a program improvement program on the existing product of a phone similarly when we think about different product lines that samsung has basically the different products that samsung has you will realize that there are separate programs that are responsible for each of these products these are not projects because you do not create or manufacture a, mach a washing machine and be done with it right you do significant improvements as the time goes right over the course of time you do improvements and that is why it is a program where portfolio comes into the picture is you can have within samsung you can have a portfolio of mobile phones you can have a portfolio of cameras you can have a portfolio of tvs right so this is where a portfolio comes into the picture but i hope you can now understand where projects and programs fit when it comes to products your project could be just the design of a folding phone your project could be just the hinges that are used uh, to create these uh, folding phones right so how do we let's say improve the hinges that could be just one project how do we get rid of the crease in folding phones or how do we make the crease 25 percent less intrusive that could be just one project which will start and end but when it comes to delivering phones every single year that is not a project that is a program that is an ongoing thing right so this is how in product companies you will find that project program portfolio management these disciplines are interlinked with product management now let's talk about the product life cycle because this is an important topic to be able to grasp product management and just like different life cycles product life cycle is also a series of phases and let's take a look at this image these are the different phases of a product life cycle you have introduction growth maturity retirement and within these phases you will find that projects are being initiated because projects essentially have a start and an end date on the contrary when you are launching a product right you don't know when you are going to retire that product right you don't even know how the market is going to uh, accept or reject your product of course you would have done your planning of course you would have done all your data analysis that is needed but there's no start and end date when it comes to a product life cycle but each project has a start and end date and that is why it is important to understand that within these phases of a product life cycle different projects get initiated like project 5 is all about retiring a product how do you retire a product do you need to communicate to your customers what do you do with all the coding that you might have done right uh, are there any regulatory compliances that you need to meet so all those make up a project which has a start and an end date and this project is being delivered in the retirement phase of the product life cycle similarly project 6 is all about coming up with a replacement product so that is uh, something that you need to understand where projects fit in the product life cycle and then of course the higher view of projects is a program the even higher view is a portfolio this ties to what we talked about samsung in the previous slide as well so the initial product may begin as a deliverable of a program or a project we talked about this earlier as well in the previous slide right when you're coming up with a foldable phone there could be a project that talks about how you can fold a phone and that project ends when you are able to maybe come up with a design of a product that can actually fold right so the initial product the initial samsung flip or samsung fold could have been the result of a program or a project that basically talked about coming up with a foldable phone 
and then when it comes to manufacturing you know tons of those phones that's a different story altogether but the point to understand here is that an initial product itself could just be a deliverable of a program or a project now product management can initiate programs or projects at any point in the product life cycle and this is what we talked about right project 5 retirement project 6 replacement so this is precisely what we talked about now these programs or projects these programs or projects that are being initiated at different levels uh, the different phases of the product uh, life cycle right these create or enhance specific components attributes or capabilities adding value for customers and sponsors this is precisely what these projects and programs do now a program may encompass the full life cycle of a product this is an important line read it again and keep it to yourself because when we go to the next slide we will talk more about this Now the relationship between program management, project management and product management is a bit convoluted, but let's take a shot at it and let's try to understand this relationship. One way to look at it is that program management is being done within a product life cycle. This is something that we saw in the previous slide as well. Remember, we had two programs, program A and program B, and those two programs were part of the product life cycle itself. Let's take an example of Facebook.com. The product here is Facebook.com. And the website updates that need to happen on Facebook.com, the maintenance for Facebook.com, these are essentially programs within the product life cycle of facebook.com right the product is facebook.com it is going through the different phases of the product life cycle within those phases you have programs like updating facebook.com like maintaining facebook.com so that it runs on older browsers as well so that it runs on tablet browsers so that it runs on browsers of the phone as well right these all are website updates and maintenance kind of stuff right so you essentially have a product which is facebook.com and you are doing program management within the life cycle of facebook.com by running these different programs remember website updates website maintenance these are not projects because projects have a start and an end date you cannot put an end date on when you will stop maintaining facebook.com right so that is why this is program management within product life cycle the next relationship is project management within a product life cycle and this is also something that we discussed in the previous slide right remember you had different projects that were essentially initiated within the product life cycle product project 5 was retirement of the product so this is project management within product life cycle in our specific example what we want to do here is to improve the feed suggestions the feed the news feed that users see when they log into facebook.com right facebook wants to come up with projects where those feed suggestions the content that users see on the feed is improved so that users spend more time on facebook.com so that uh, users see more ads on facebook.com and essentially facebook makes more money out of it so this could be a project improve feed suggestions this project can have a start and an end date can have a specific goal that it needs to meet and this is essentially project management within the product life cycle product is facebook remember so within the product life cycle of facebook this can be a project the third one is where it gets tricky product management within a program now your program could be making sure users access facebook this could be your program and how do you introduce the facebook phone app is how you are essentially doing product management within your program of making sure more and more users get access to facebook so when you come up with a facebook phone app this is a different product altogether right this is a phone app but this could be part of a program within facebook 
and the program charter says we want to make sure more users have access to Facebook. So this program includes a product Facebook phone app. This can also include the Facebook website, right? So this is a program and this is where you are doing product management within the Facebook program. Question for this video programs and projects that deliver products use a tailored approach that integrates both project and program management practices and methods, right? This is not the question. This is a fact. So the question is, have you ever worked on projects that deliver a product or a component of a product? Yes or no. And what has been your experience in working on projects that deliver products? So that's all that we had in this video. I hope you got value out of it. I hope you were able to understand the importance of product management in project management. Like, share, subscribe. If you like our work, consider contributing at pnclounge.com slash contribute or make use of the thanks button on YouTube. Don't forget to check out our website pnclounge.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.